Hi kids, just let's make art and we're gonna paint and stuff. <laughs> and yeah. we're doing dinosaurs. Ooh, Ooh make a dinosaur noise. <clears throat> That was my best pterodactyl noise. That was great. Thank you. Great. <laughs> well, that was an awesome way to start. So we are doing dinosaurs, and the supplies that we're using are, we have blank papers, so we're going to be drawing together today. So this will be really fun. Nora's here to help us show what we can draw. We have a pencil, good old pencil to draw with us. And then the colors we are using, there are three colors. We're using a burnt orange. So we're, that is going to help us make brown. And then also to help us make brown is we're going to use Payne's gray and then emerald green. So if you have any colors that are close to that, if you want to paint along with us, we want you to paint too. So the first thing is grab your hand. Grab your hand. And raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Awesome. So we are going to start with our pencil. Now we're going to draw the adult dinosaur. So you get to decide if you want it to be the mama or the data. Hmm. I don't know if they look different actually. It will be the big sibling. Oh yeah. Or it could be the sibling. It'll be the big brother. Okay, yes. I like that. So to draw a dinosaur, you will see that we're gonna break it down into simple shapes. So this shape actually kind of looks like a diamond or a rectangle on its side. So to do that is on the left side, if you want yours coming out from here, is I want you to draw, you don't need to press too hard. So I want you to draw a diamond for the head. Good job. Yeah. Okay. So the next step is, is this line right here. So this line right here, you're going to extend it and draw it further. Boom. And then kind of about halfway, you're going to do the same thing and draw another line parallel. So that's the neck. Kind of looks like a kite with two strings. <laughs> and then we're going to erase this line because this is one continuous, just like our neck goes to our head. So we're going to erase this line. And it's okay if it's still there, actually, because it'll create kind of a shadow. Hmm. I think I'm going to make the head a little bit longer. You want it bigger? Yeah. Okay. You can do that. So that's the cool thing is we're using pencils. So if she wants to make it longer, you can make it a little bit different. I like that. Nice. Now, your adult or the bigger sibling is peering over to the little dinos that are being hatched. So the first step is, is let's draw their nest. So somewhere over here. You're going to draw a big oval for the nest. Okay. <clears throat> so draw an oval. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the next step is, is let's draw your eggs. Now you are creative, so you get to decide because you're the artist, are your eggs hatched like this or are they full eggs? Hmm. So you can do a mix of them too. So if they are full, you're going to draw a full oval and if they're hatched I'm going to draw some hatched ones up here so if they're hatched you're going to draw half of a circle and then you're going to draw it like it's cracked in it so across I'm going to do diagonal or zigzag lines cool yeah so you draw a few of them if they're hatched it, again if you put it sideways it kind of looks like a person like it's this hair and then there's the nose, <laughs> and then it's like... Yeah. I love when you see things. It's fun. Okay. Wonderful. We have our eggs. Now, the ones that are hatching, we're going to draw little dinos. And so you're going to repeat the same steps that we did here. So start with your diamond first. So draw a diamond somewhere. Right, and you can decide, are the dinos facing or away? Mm, or are they facing each other? Oh, that's fun. Be like. I'll do that. Yeah. So it helps to think about that first, because if they're facing, so this one's going to face this way. So I'm going to draw it more over here, because the neck is going to be over here. Oh. 
So this, and then you're gonna extend it. So you first start with your diamond wherever you want to be. Yeah. And then you're gonna extend it. So on this one, it, it may curve a little bit. So I'm gonna extend the head down or to make the neck. And then you're gonna draw the next one that's parallel and then erase the lines. Now, erase that line and then the dyno goes a little bit above or goes across this, so I'm gonna erase that line. So wherever the neck is, so erase that line because you won't see that. Yeah, and you'll see the neck, boom. The neck Kay. is not, the, the nest is not see-through. Right, yeah, the, and the neck isn't see-through either. But that'd be pretty cool if it was. Right. That'd be crazy, see-through egg. So then draw the next one. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna extend it here and here. So we're repeating those steps. <laughs> Mine looks like the list little guy's like talking at him and this guy's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Can make a fun story. Cool. It kind of looks like a submarine. Like there's the there's the windows, and then those are Whoa. the things that oh, yeah. out of the water. I see that too. That's so fun. <laughs> okay, look what you did. You just drew. You just drew your dinosaurs. Nice. So fun. Okay, now we are ready to use our watercolors. So we're gonna mix a few colors. So maybe you can help me. So. You do one drop of this. So first I'm gonna do one drop. We're gonna make three different browns that we're gonna use. So if you have three different browns, if you have other colors, you can skip through for this part. But if you wanna learn how to mix colors, I'm gonna do one drop of burnt orange and she's gonna do one drop in here, yeah, of gray. And then we're gonna share this water. We're gonna mix that. Whoa, I need a piece of paper. That, I'm just gonna test it out. Whoa, so that made more of a black. Now we want more of a brown because we're gonna add it. So let's just add a little bit more. The, the gray must have been really, really strong. Yeah. So let's see what happens. And this is what's fun. You mix different colors and you see what happens. But I think the orange will make it a little bit more brown. Yeah, Whoa. that's still really, isn't that that's, cool? That's pretty. So it warmed it up a little bit. So we'll keep that color. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do six drops. So we're gonna have more burnt orange. Two, three, four, five, six. And then can you take the Payne's gray again and then add one? So you'll see that by having more orange, it's gonna create more of a brown because it's basically warming it up, warming the gray up even more. Oh, There's our brown, pretty. That's a good brown. Nice, okay. So we have that. Now what we're gonna do is I wanna teach you is we're gonna take this color, but do you know how I can make this lighter? Uh, just add more either water or mm -hmm. more of the burnt orange. That's true. That will also make it lighter because it'll make it more orangey. But this, I liked your first technique where we're adding a lot of water. So I took my brown and I added water to it. Well, there we go. There's our lighter, so that's gonna be our egg color. So we're gonna use that for the egg color. So now we're ready. We have our three colors that we're gonna be using. Nice. It kinda looks kinda like the peach-ish, kind of. Yeah, it does. Okay, so I wanna show you and teach you one thing. So what we did is we learned how to make a tone. So a tone is a darker color, but it's by using gray. So you know how we mixed gray to these oranges mm -hmm. so that's basically a tone of orange but then this is called a tint uh. so tint is when it's lighter tone is darker oh. yeah so you just learned something new that's cool Isn't that cool yeah. okay now next step is is let's get to painting so let's start with our dinosaur eggs so grab your smaller brush because we're painting a really small area and you're gonna dip your brush in water. Do you mind if we share water? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, is that okay? Yes. Okay, so dip your brush in water and let's start with our lighter color. So we have our lighter color, our tint, and you're gonna paint 
inside your eggs. And because this is a smaller area, you'll see we don't need to press very hard. We've been learning that when you just lightly press the paper, it'll still paint. So you don't need to press very hard. Yeah, look at that. So these are our eggs. It looks yummy. Yummy. Mm, fresh eggs. I do love eggs. I've never had dinosaur eggs. <clears throat> Neither have I. Well. I've had duck eggs. Mm. I feel like birds, fowl are descendants of some dinosaur. You think? Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, you have. <laughs> In a way? Yeah. That means we all have. Nice. <laughs> okay, sweet. So let's keep going because this is wet. So we're gonna do our color explosions. So clean your brush and then grab one of the darker browns. You can choose which one you wanna use, but grab one of the darker ones. And then I want you to add some color explosions. So we're dipping in the darker color. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. And then you're going to just touch your paper and add dots and watch it explode. Ah. These... Whoa, that was a big one. <laughs> it looks like hair kind of. That looks awesome. So so we're making color explosions because our eggs were still wet and we're adding color to it. So it makes them kind of speckled. I think that's so cool. Cool. You made me think of Easter eggs. Yeah. Decorating eggs. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe you do a really big it one. It looks like fireworks when they're like getting <gasps> bigger. Yes. yes. So the more paint you have on your paintbrush, the bigger the explosion is. Boom. Nice. Okay, now let's switch. So we're gonna let this dry and we're gonna move to our dinosaur. Yes. So we're gonna do the same thing. Let me move this for a second. And we're gonna use our emerald green or any green that you have. And I'm gonna use six, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's make a tone. So do you remember how to make a tone of a, a color? Yes, we add water. Oh, Wait, that's a tint. Is that right? Tint, Wait, close. Yes. Yeah. Tone is darker. Yes. So would we add this? Yep. Good job. Nice. Okay. So add one drop to the green. So we have green, but we're going to make a tone of green to make it a little bit darker. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Ooh that's a beautiful that's color. That's a great green. Yeah. Like emerald. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep that for the next step so we have our color ready. Okay. But I'm gonna paint, we're gonna paint our dinosaur green and actually this will let us, let me show you what you made so you can actually see. So we started with the original green. So again, we made a tone which was adding gray. Look at that. Those are pretty. Not pretty. This one kind of looks like this is the grass at the bottom yeah. and then you just get, it goes up the hill closer mm -hmm. to the light and it's like. <laughs> I like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the dinosaur this color and then we're gonna add color explosions with the tone to add some texture. Cause dinosaurs have a little texture on them. So let's start with the emerald green. Now you can decide, do you wanna use your small brush or your big brush? Um, I think I'm gonna use my big brush. Cause okay. It's Larger. Bigger area. Okay, let me move this back for you. Is that okay? Yep. Okay. So we're going to dip in water and then pick up the lighter one, which is this one. And then you're going to paint the whole dinosaur. Dino. Have you thought of a name for your dinosaur? Um, I'm going to name him... Hmm. Just depends what his color explosion looks like. Oh, okay, that will dictate his name. Yes. Okay, we Wait, can decide waiting for after. his personality to pop. Yeah. <laughs> this egg is obviously going to be a troublemaker. <laughs> or her. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll hold this for you. Beautiful. So we're painting the whole head. We move it up just a little. Sweet. Okay, now let's dip in water to switch colors because we're switching colors and then let's do our color explosions. So grab the darker green. So I'm reaching over you. And then we're going to do our color explosion. So add the dots. It's like a giraffe. Boom. <laughs> it's like a green oh, yeah. giraffe. 
Because dinosaurs have textures. Yes, they do. Scales? No. That's a fish. They have feathers. I Some think. of, yeah. I mean, I mean There's, that's I know, what kind of texture does? A dinosaur have it, kind of it skin. It gets lighter in some places. Whoa! So it actually does kind of look like. I don't. Yeah, that looks so cool. I'm gonna add some more. This is fun. Oh, maybe it's an underwater dinosaur because they got their submarine and the underwater dinosaur. Ooh, I like that creature. That looks epic. <laughs> Good job. So those are the color explosions. Hmm. So now. We're gonna repeat the same steps with our baby ones. So we're gonna use the light green and then add color explosions to it. So good job switching colors. Oh yeah, let's switch, good idea. Switch, so we're switching brushes to our smaller brush. So start with the lighter green. And it's so fun, so I want you to see, because this is what I like to do whenever I paint. I kind of watch and see what happens because it always looks different. So mine kind of blended together and made this cool line right here, which I love. I love all the little dots. I love how yours is, oh yeah, the scale look right here, and then it's darker right here. Whoa, look, and it made, yours made that explosion. Hmm, I think his name will be, hmm. Robert. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> I like it. Thanks nice. for all the Roberts out there. Is there a Robert in your family? Yes. Yes. Who? My, my grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> He's the bomb. That's awesome. This is for him then. Okay. So is that grandpa then or is that still the big brother? Uh, the big brother. Big brother. Okay. Nice. The big brother's in dino school. Nice. I like it, they're in school. Okay, so what we need to do is ours is a little wet and we're gonna let it dry because we are going to do the eyes and the mouth. So we have a handy tool, we're gonna use that. It's a heat it craft tool to dry it and then we'll meet you back for the last few steps. Ooh. And we're back. Welcome. Welcome. So we let ours fully dry and what we're gonna do is we're going to make the eyes and the mouth. So we have our, we actually don't have, none of these have just gray, right? Because that's our brown and that's brown. Yeah, so should so, I? Yeah, make a little yeah, pot of right gray. Okay, perfect. So I'll spin it so you can have some of it. Is we are now going to use, let's use our small brush because we're just doing our eyes and the mouth. So dip your brush in water. Hit it off to the side because we don't need it too wet. And then grab just a little bit. Now, here's a cool trick. If you get too much, you can spin your brush like this and it evens it out. Like a person dancing. Uh, yeah, kind of. How it evens it out. So, what you're going to do is you're going to draw your eyes. Now, there are lots of different ways to draw eyes. You can draw them circular, you can draw them really big, or I'm going to draw them as kind of little smiley faces or arcs. So it's kind of like smiling at him. So you get to decide how you want to draw your eyes. Okay. But they're about in this area in the middle. So you're gonna draw two eyes. And I just lightly pressed the paper. I think I need a bit more. A little bit more. Then you can draw the mouth. Because our dino is smiling. Cute. Ooh, I like how you did the, I like that. That's so fun. Nice. So you can see how Nora did hers a little bit differently. How cute is that? And she barely touched the paper, amazing. Now let's add them to the our little guys. So I think I'm just gonna do one eye since they're small. And a really big mouth. Maybe this one has two. <laughs> they all seem very proud of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> that tree leaf was delightful. <laughs> oh, is that what they're saying to each mm -hmm. other? They're very pleased with their meal, maybe. What are these guys' names? 
or girls? Uh, well, in my brief dinosaur name research, uh -huh. I think these are closest to related to, well, they may be custom here at Let's Make Art, but they're between a brontosaurus yeah. and a brachiosaurus. Oh, I think I know brontosaurus. That's the one I might have been, because they have the longer necks. They do. <clears throat> now, I think of the movie Land Before Time. The brachiosaurus, brachiosaurus, brachiosaurus. That one is green in this picture oh. that I'm looking at, so that's why oh. I chose between the two. Cool. I've never heard of brachio brachiosaurus. Mm -hmm. It's a cool one. Okay, let's do the next step. So we're going to paint our nest. Now we're going to add some darker spots to it because when you have the eggs, it makes a shadow. But let's do the first step and let's use our smaller brush like we have and pick a brown or pick any color if you want to use a different color. Any color. But I'm going to use the brown that we have and you're going to paint. There are so many different types of dinosaurs. My favorite type, my favorite type of dinosaur is uh, uh, Triceratops. Mmm, that one's cool. So while it's still wet, Nora and I are going to do one last thing. So pick one of your darker colors. So I'm going to use a dark brown that we have. And like I said, we're going to add some just shadows to our nest. So you're going to do some color explosions in the nest right below the eggs. Like that. So I'm just kind of adding some. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> My color explosions like me. So if it's really wet, it's oh. really going to explode. Mine dried a little bit but I'm still gonna blend, add some in to just add some different colors. So it's fun to see. That looks so cool with the texture. So you learned so many things. You learned a lot of different color explosions. We learned what a tint versus a tone is. So remember, tint is really light when we add water, which we've learned a lot about. We've done a lot of projects with that. A tint, a tint. Maybe that's how you remember. And a, a tone. A little bit of tint. <laughs> and a tone. <laughs> a tone is when it's a lot darker, so we added the gray, or you can add black. So now you learn some cool new art terms. Speaking of art, it's my fifth anniversary. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is her fifth project she's painted with us. Oh, it's yeah, been so it's fun. fun. So thank you for painting with me. So we have a shout out we wanted to give. Another fun animal project is our Loyal Lion project. So this is Nolan, and he's nine. And he did so great. No it was awesome. That's one of actually my favorite projects, the lion one. I'm going to call him really Sir fun. Nolan. Okay. Sounds good. So good job, Nolan. Thank you for painting with us. And we want to see what you make just like we saw what Nolan painted. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects where we can see what you make. And we have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. This was awesome. Do you want to tell us our, the quick name? So we have Robert. So this is... Robert. Mm -hmm. This is Demetra. Cool. And this is um. <sighs> and this is concrete. Cool. Nice. I like that. Nice. And then we have. I'm gonna use this is Grandpa. This is Grandpa Ray, oh. and he's smiling and really proud of his kids. Their names are. Sammy mm -hmm. <laughs> and Daniel. Nice. Sammy and Danny. Yeah, Sammy and Danny. So you, we want to see what you make. Maybe you name them just like we do. You can, we can add more. This is when you can be creative. Maybe you add, where do they live? Is there some land behind them? What time of day is it? Is it daytime or nighttime? Mm. You can add more to your painting. Maybe they're talking to each other. So this was so much fun. Thank you for painting with me. Thank you, Nora, for painting with me. And always remember that you're brave, kind, and so creative. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.